So we've installed all 14 lights now. It didn't take us too long at all. Um, probably not much longer than it would have to change all the bulbs. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, anytime you're working on this wiring, you want to make sure your DC circuit is off and, uh, and make sure there's no DC voltage where you're working. So we're going to go ahead and turn those circuits back on and see how they work with the dimmers. So we have our DC power on to the lights and dimmers now. We're going to just test this light here with the existing dimmer, see how it works. And at full bright, it seems to work pretty well. And it dims down okay too. At the lower level, there's a little bit of flutter. You can see the light flashing or strobing. With these older dimmers, that's to be expected. But fortunately, we've designed these lights to work uh, extremely well. We've tuned them to work perfectly, actually, with our own interval uh, switchboard dimmer. So we'll just change these dimmers out with the switchboard, and uh, they'll be fine. Okay, so the next part of this uh, retrofit is to replace the dimmers. These are pretty easy to get off. It's just a matter of of uh, taking the outer cover off and then it's just a matter of unscrewing the uh, retaining screws here which are attached to a little bracket on the back so now we can we can remove these because we're not going to need these anymore we're going to replace these with the momentary push button and i'm just going to tuck these in the back because we have access behind here and mike is uh, back there right now and he's going to um, cut those wires and and attach them to the uh, new dimmer that we're going to install. So here we have the uh, back of the area where those knobs are to control the dimmers and you can see the four dimmers for the four circuits in the main salon. We're going to replace these four dimmers with, uh, with dimmers that we've designed the lights to work with that is the uh, intervolt switch mode dimmer. Uh, so before I begin removing these dimmers, we've gone ahead and we've shut off the DC uh, circuit breaker again so that uh, we don't have any live voltage here while we work. And we're just going to cut away these wires going to the control knobs so they can be removed. Our dimmer controls its load without dissipating as nearly as much heat and also at the same time the load is going to be much much smaller you know that uh, middle circuit of four lights if it was it's a 24 volt system so those lights if there were 20 watt bulbs in there that's about an amp each just shy of an amp each so that's four amps that these all these conductors are carrying that'll be reduced to less than a amp with the new lights Mike just finished installing a dimmer module in the uh, in the back of this panel here, and he's passed me up the two control wires. They're just uh, dim signal wires that are going to be wired into the momentary switch, which I have in my hand here. This is a uh, a VMAR uh, 8000 series, and it's it's compatible with the the same grid that the that the owner had in the original uh, installation with the old old dimmer controls. So uh, I'm just going to take the uh, wire ends and uh, insert them into the terminal holes and uh, simply uh, screw them down and secure them. We're going to put it back exactly where the old one was and that was right in the middle. And then we're going to do the same with the next, the next dimmer, which I'm going to put right here. So the next step now is uh, to screw this frame back into the woodwork here. And now we will just put the cover plate right over the top and dress it up nice, snap it on. And once we restore power, we'll test these new momentary switches out. And you know, I don't see or hear any um, I don't see any flicker, I don't hear any noise, no buzzing or any type of interference at all. And I notice uh, none of the electronics uh, experience any problems either. So these are doing exactly uh, what we designed them to do. And uh, I, think, I think it's a great product.